I'm here with Martin Resendez, Rolling Need for Charities. First and foremost, man, congratulations on everything that you've accomplished uh, with Thank Rolling Need for Charities. Thank you. And uh, we're going to touch a little bit more on uh, all the things that you've done, especially the recent uh, feature. But um, what made you or what inspired you to start Rolling Need for Charities? Uh, basically, I started this whole concept started in Rosarito. We were, me and my wife were over there on vacation for the weekend, and as you know, there's a lot of poverty in all of Mexico, but in Rosarito you see kids, and so I decided, well, my, mother, my mother-in-law was an orphan, so I figured, you know what, why don't we start inviting some friends over, have them come to Rosarito a couple of bikes, and see what we could do with the charity for, for any orphanage. So it worked out great because... Um, Word of mouth, on the first event, we had over uh, 100 and, uh, 160 bikes on, on the first try, just word of mouth. And it just tripled every year. So, is it getting as big as you envisioned, or all this new stuff is kind of like... A lot more. A lot, I never expected it to be as big as we are. I mean, uh, I have a good organization. Um, Rolling D for Cherry, I mean, the whole crew, they just... I mean, it, it took me to where I'm at today. It took it to a whole next level. So, the success of the, the uh, charity event, or the charity organization, is that what said, you know what, we need to do this music festival? Yes, I, um, Rolling Deep for Charities, we're always, uh, we always are the first ones to bring up new things. We're, there, unfortunately, there's so many uh, charity events every weekend, two or three a weekend. So I figured, you know what, let me bring something up for the public that nobody else does. So I figured, let's do a music festival. And this is our first event in it, I'm telling you right now. We have, we sold out. And we sold out the vendors, we sold out with, uh, with people who just come in here. We, we, it's, it's nonstop. Right. So the funds from this event is for the Rosarito run, it's yes. for the, uh, the run that you guys have uh, for Christmas. Correct. And all that good stuff. Correct. How far do you want to... Because I know, just like me, you know, we have a, a nine-to-five kind of job, Monday through Friday. Yes. <laughs> um, do you foresee Rolling Need for Charities becoming an, uh, a charity organization where that is going to be your Monday through Friday, nine-to-five? Um, hopefully, I can retire. <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't look like that soon. But uh, I don't think that far. I mean, this is always something I do on the side uh, because of my heart's in the right place. I like doing charity work. Unfortunately, I don't have the funds to keep it going 24 hours a day. I do have a regular job, 8 to 5. And um, so, we'll see what happens in the future. Right. Now, your recent feature on Lowrider Magazine, they named you as one of the uh, most influential uh, Latino bikers, in, or Latinos in the biker, in the Latino biker community. Um, does that uh, reputation come with a, a big responsibility? Oh, yes. Whether I came on the feature or not, it's a big responsibility because a lot of people look up to us. And um, I, it's a little, you know, I gotta keep, keep straight, <laughs> you know? It's, it's a little bit, uh, I was very impressed with the article and uh, very pleased with the article. Um, but um, yeah, I, I like to you know, keep, keep it straight, keep it level. <laughs> <laughs> now giving you that name, you know, or, or recognizing you as such an individual, um, with so many biker followers that you have, is it something that you think it's going to help change the image of the biker community, whether they're patch, uh, you know, words or not? I really hope so. I mean, I think people are scared of things that they don't know, or they fear things that they don't know about them. So I'm trying to show them the other side. I'm trying to show them that you know what, we're not, we're not, we're not here to harm anyone. We're just here to have a good time. You know, but um, more, um, so I, I hope so. I hope in the future we could all just get along and not, you know, and just interact with one another. Yeah. So, how can people know more about the uh, charity organization? Please go to uh, uh, www.rollingdeepcharities.com and all of information is on there. Okay. Okay. I think once again, man, uh, you know I've been following you for a while. And, I appreciate uh, that. You know your success just it, it motivates me to uh, be a better person and go out there, and, you know, help others. And if not necessarily, you know, start my own event, start my own thing, at least support uh, 
organization like ask. yours and you know, other organizations or any other biker uh, group that may be putting some uh, events together. So once again, man, congratulations. You're very welcome. One last thing, always pay it forward. That's all I ask, pay it forward. God bless.
Well, you know where to find me And when the world brings you down Your heart is down Hey, how's everybody going today? We are Jimmy and the Suicide Kings. This is the Rolling Deep for Charities Music Festival. That's right. Getting ready to go up on stage and rock this show. And you're watching Urban Melody TV. Yes, sir.
preciosa Y cuando se va de casa Triste me pongo Estoy tan enamorado De la negra preciosa Y cuando se va de casa Triste me pongo Esa negra linda que me tiene loco, que me come poquito a poco. Esa negra linda que me tiene loco, que me come poquito a poco. Y cuando se va de casa, triste me pongo Estoy tan enamorado de la negra preciosa Y cuando se va de casa, triste me pongo Esa negra linda que me tiene loco Que me come poquito a poco Esa negra linda Hi, you're watching Urban Melody TV. I'm Adelaide with the band LA. We performed here today with the Rolling Deep for Charities event in La Puente. What wonderful, great people, great food, great drinks, sunshine, can't complain. It's so actually our second year to come back, so we're really happy to return. Um, the band is called E-L-A, E-L-E. You can find out more about us at facebook.com, the band LA, or you can go to my website, which is www.adelaidemusicgroup.com. Love is a rainbow, all shades of red, everybody wants some color.